Today we will continue our talk on diabetes type 2 and uh, Ayurveda. We will uh, stress uh, the complications what diabetes can do on the body, especially on the kidney. The kidney is one of the most important organs in the body mm. and its function is to remove yeah. waste products out of the body. Yeah. To do this, there is a lot of very fine, small vessels yeah. uh, which filter the blood yes. and uh, keep the good things in the body and give the bad things uh, mm. leave with the, with the urine. Yes. So with diabetes, uh, there are changes and damages on these blood vessels, on these tiny blood vessels. Yeah. So after many years of diabetes and not controlled diabetes, mm. Mm. then these uh, blood vessels get leaky yeah. and proteins and other products leave the body. Got we it. call this microalbuminuria, yes. which is a early symptom of um, problems which occur in the kidney. Yes. How do you notice that yeah. you will get a kidney problem? Uh, most times there is swelling and yeah. edema, maybe mm. in the legs, maybe in the eyes, yeah. maybe there is fatigue yes. and tiredness, yeah. uh, loss of concentration, mm -hmm. and uh, these are symptoms which can guide to a kidney problem. Yes. Um, Conventionally, of course, we say to control this mm -hmm. is to optimize the blood sugar levels. Yeah? Yes, that's but question yeah. to you, what can Ayurveda do f uh, to help the kidneys be safe and uh, uh, healthy and not getting into these uh, problems? Uh, first of all, as you know, Dr. Garner, mm -hmm. you are a doctor yourself yeah. and you know it from your experience yeah. that it is fundamental to keep uh, HBAC blood level at mm -hmm. at least 7. Yeah. Because more than 7.5, 8, 9, mm -hmm. it can become dangerous. Yeah. In the long run. And then in the long run, when, when somebody has 8 plus or mm -hmm. 9 plus HBAC blood sugar level, then it can damage kidneys. So right. first thing is that we would always focus on keeping HBAC levels uh, at uh, uh, 7, 7.5. Yeah. Um, I have noticed from my experience in, yeah. the, in working with the people mm -hmm. that even though many patients, they control their blood sugar level uh, through allopathic medications, but if they keep eating wrong things all the time, HBAC, when checked, HBAC is... Uh, what they call it that the glucose uh, molecule bound with the blood cells basically yeah. so yeah. that is a sign that long term there is two blood sugar in the blood and um, HBAC is not controlled even if some people have controlled blood sugar through the medication of the doctors but if they mm. keep having eating wrong lifestyle wrong. eating wrong food uh -huh. the HBAC becomes higher and mm -hmm. So that's the first thing we do uh, through diabetes treatment. Uh, I prescribe people to do it once in every year initially mm -hmm. and then once in two years. Mm -hmm. So that in long term, all the time, this blood sugar level is completely under control and it doesn't really increase mm -hmm. badly. Mm -hmm. If somebody has really problem on the kidneys, mm -hmm. then Ayurveda has particularly a treatment which is known as kidney dhara. Uh -huh. Kidney dhara yeah. is really a treatment where we create a well on the kidney area using yeah. a dough. Yeah. And then we put cert pour uh, certain decoctions and oils on the kidney region for a certain period of time, two or three times per week. And that has a remarkable impact on repairing the kidneys and making it more stronger. I always recommend people with diabetic to do this kidney dhara once in week or once in 15 days as a preventive measure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when the blood sugar is high, kidney is always loaded and working too much. If diabetes is lasting 
for a long time, for many years. Mm. Sometimes it comes to a complete failure of the renal function. And normally we have to give these patients to a dialysis procedure. So three times a week they have to go for many hours for washing the blood with machines. And this is a very yeah, uh, painful yeah. and also um, uh, difficult for many yes. patients. And yes. uh, life quality is yeah. bad. Yeah. So in Ayurveda, if there is already damage to the uh, kidneys, mm. is there any chance to improve the kidney function? Yes, Dr. Garner. Mm. From my experience, what I have seen, mm -hmm. that people who come with a creatinine level 4, which mm. normally should be 1 or 1.5, yeah, yeah. And, and more than that, if it goes, the doctor's advice to mm. go for dialysis, yeah, if it yeah. goes up to 6, 7, definitely, mm -hmm they have to start dialysis. Yeah. In this kind of uh, people, we do a special kidney detox programs yeah. in which there are special enemas are given uh -huh. regularly with the kidney dhara uh -huh. and uh, also herbs like gokshur, vayavarna, gugul, etc. are given. Now these herbs which are part of ketone and uritone formulas, they are actually uh, proven as repairing the uh, damage that the kidneys has. So yeah, they, they yeah. really, but they work on a long term yeah. basis. So there's a chance to improve Improve the gradually. What, what I have Very seen good. that yeah. if people do these treatments regularly, yeah, yeah. then in six months time, from four, the creatinine level goes down to three, then further mm -hmm. six months it goes to two, mm -hmm. then after Slowly one or, recovering. yeah, like okay. two years or yeah. something, it happens that they, mm -hmm. Ma can maintain the levels at 2, mm -hmm. 1.5, mm -hmm. definitely. Are there other uh, herbal remedies to improve the renal function even if it's not so bad? No. Yes, ketone yeah. and uritone, mm -hmm. if taken as a precautionary uh -huh. yeah. action, they really uh, flush out all the toxins regularly mm -hmm. and prevent the damage on the kidneys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you tell something about the diet for people who have kidney problems? Yes, Dr. Yeah. Garner. As you yeah. know, yeah. also from your experience, I have seen uh, from uh, uh, kidney point of view, mm -hmm. it is very important to take lots of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Of course, spinach and certain high-protein mm -hmm. vegetables are mm -hmm. not advised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, salty vegetables are not advised, but um, uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cooked uh, carrot, beetroot, asparagus particularly, mm -hmm. especially, mm -hmm. uh, zucchini, pumpkin, these are the vegetables when taken properly on an Indian side, loki, turai, padwar, these Indian vegetables are very good for the mm -hmm. kidneys mm -hmm. and take at least 60-70% amount of vegetables in the diet regularly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 10 to 20 percent of protein, so re mm -hmm. reduce protein. And whenever you have somebody with a kidney problem and diabetes, they need to take carbohydrate, should be more complex car carbohydrate than simple, like mm -hmm. rice, potatoes, yeah. sweet potatoes, certain fruits should be completely avoided. Uh -huh. Instead uh -huh. of that, millet is a, is a better mm -hmm. choice mm -hmm. or lentils, these are a better mm -hmm. choice. It doesn't have Some a Some fruits are allowed? Yes, cranberry, uh -huh. uh, uh, apple. Uh, blueberry, apple, uh, sometimes uh -huh. pomegranate. Uh -huh. These are antioxidant fruits uh -huh. which also gradually can repair the kidney functions as uh -huh. well. Very good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah.